Today I'm talking about eggflation. I'll admit it, guys, I am an eggaholic. There are two things I can't live without, and those two things are eggs and coffee, which means I'm shelling out mega bucks for my breakfast habit right now, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. I wanted to know why are eggs so expensive right now? Yes, we all know we're dealing with major inflation, but eggs have doubled and tripled in price over the last year. There has to be an explanation for all this eggflation. That's what I'm discussing today. If you love eggs as much as I do and want to know the mystery behind all this eggflation, listen in because that's what I'm talking about today. The dynamics causing all this eggflation. There are a few reasons for the crazy egg prices right now, but the biggest reason is the chicken pandemic. Just as we are recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic, chickens and other fowl are now experiencing an equally devastating pandemic. A highly contagious avian flu is spreading across the globe, and you may not have heard about this. It has spread to 46 states in the United States and is the largest global bird flu in history. This virus spreads quickly and 90 to 100 percent of the birds die within a day or two of catching it. This is what's driving up the price of eggs right now. Over 52 million birds have been killed from this virus in the United States. The World Health Organization is also tracking this avian flu as there have been reported cases of human infection. Human infection is rare and there are only 240 cases reported worldwide. However, of the people who have caught this virus, the fatality rate is extremely high with 56% of the cases being fatal. This is why the World Health Organization is tracking it and why some virologists are concerned that this virus could be tweaked to infect humans. There is not just a supply issue though, there is also a demand issue. People are eating more eggs than ever. In fact, we have hit a record high in egg consumption. In 2018, the U.S. consumed more eggs than it had in nearly 50 years. And this is mainly because the U.S. changed its dietary guidelines in 2016, dropping our restrictions on dietary cholesterol intake and recommending eggs as part of a healthy diet. We were told for decades that eating eggs regularly would lead to high cholesterol, heart disease, and strokes. And since we've changed our guidelines, people are eating eggs and eating them a lot more often. In addition to this, people's diets have changed and there are new trends, including the ketogenic diet. 5% of Americans now follow it. And this is a high fat, low carb diet. And eating eggs is a big part of the keto diet and one of the reasons why I eat so many eggs. Of course, we can't leave out good old-fashioned inflation. While inflation isn't the biggest factor in why eggs are so expensive right now, it is a factor. The price of food in general has gone way up over the last year. We saw an 8% increase in the overall cost of food in 2022, and that number rises to 13.5% when you talk about food we eat at home. This is the highest food inflation we've seen since 1979. There is definitely a bird flu going around, but some farmers claim that eggflation is nothing more than greedflation. They accuse the United States' largest egg producers of using avian flu as a cover for price gouging. Like others, they are blaming corporate greed on the skyrocketing price of eggs right now. They say large corporations are manipulating consumers and making record profits. According to a recent article published in Time magazine, America's largest egg producer saw a 600% increase in profits in the last quarter of 2022. 
Farm Action, a farmer-led nonprofit advocacy organization, recently accused CalMaine Foods, the largest U.S. producer of eggs, of using cartel-like conspiracies and intentionally reducing the production of their eggs so that they could make higher profits. Their quarterly report showed no positive avian flu tests on any of their farms, and Farm Action sent a letter to the FTC stating their concerns. They say the actual impact of the avian flu on egg production was minimal, and any losses they experienced were far outweighed by record high lay rates among their remaining hens. So they say that Calmain Foods is just taking advantage of the avian flu to price gouge consumers. So the question is, if there is a major bird flu going around that is killing all of our chickens and turkeys, why hasn't the price of poultry gone up at the same pace as the price of eggs? The answer could be twofold. One is because leading producers of eggs may be inflating their prices. But the bigger reason, according to associate professor and agricultural economist at Iowa State University, Lee Schultz, is that eggs have an inelastic demand, meaning that people who love them will continue buying them regardless of their price tag. There are no alternative to eggs. So people who love eggs, like me, are going to keep buying them no matter how much they cost. Additionally, eggs are needed for a lot of things we cook, like baked goods and other recipes. So even if everyone gave up their eggs for breakfast, there would still be a high demand for eggs and egg products. Chickens and turkeys, on the other hand, can be replaced with other meat products. So this is one of the reasons we haven't seen the same sharp increase in prices in poultry. If you're scrambling to handle all this eggflation, there are a few things you can do. First of all, you should know that the price of eggs will eventually come back down. Just like we've recovered from our pandemic, the chickens will recover too. And when they start laying more eggs, the price of eggs will come back down. In the meantime, there are a few things you can do. One of them is consume less eggs. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm sticking with my two eggs I have to have every morning for breakfast, but I'm not making baked goods or other recipes that require a lot of eggs. You can also purchase eggs from organic or free range egg farmers. And this is because the organic and free range egg farms aren't being as affected as the major egg producers because their chickens aren't cooped up all together where they can rapidly spread the virus to other chickens. So in some areas, the price of organic and free range eggs are cheaper. So that's another consideration. I believe in free market solutions and there is plenty of evidence to suggest that Calmain Foods is exploiting this situation, taking advantage of consumers and driving up the price of eggs. So one thing we can do as consumers is not buy eggs from their brand. Send a message to them that we are not going to purchase from a company that exploits their consumers. They operate in 28 states and sell eggs under their brands Calmain, Rio Grande, SunUps and Eggland's Best. So if you want to send the egg producers a message that we need you looking out for us instead of your record setting profits right now while we're all struggling, stop buying from their brands. That's what I am planning to do and one of the reasons I'm making this video. That's the explanation for all this eggflation. If you found my video interesting, please help me out and hit the like button and that helps me reach more people. I'm trying to blow this channel up with more liberty-minded folks like me. If you appreciate what I'm trying to do, please subscribe to my channel and consider supporting me as a patron. I've left a link to my blog post on eggflation and a link to how to support Patty for Liberty in the description. See y'all again soon. I'm Patty from Patty for Liberty.